Good morning, everybody. Yeah, out here in the bush, Ranger's life starts at the very first light. So first things first, we came out this morning to come and have a look at our beautiful female cheetah here. Just to check on her condition and see how she's doing. So a very often asked question, especially um, when you're looking at this beautiful cheetah over here is, you know, how, how long or how fast can they run or, you know, how, for how long can they, can they chase an animal for? And it's not about distance, it's not about uh, a lot of the factors that you would generally think. It actually comes down to her core body temperature. And at different times of the year, different temperatures of the day, it will increase and decrease the duration of her chases and her hunts. Jackal's living in uh, family groups, and um, quite interestingly enough is that in the evenings they set out and they can travel great distances. Um, some have been recorded to go up to 40 kilometers um, looking for, for food and being able to scavenge. They need to cover a lot of ground. Oh, big bull elephant in the background making his way towards the water as well. Also to come past the breeding herd. Have a look at him making his way down there. The elephants can fit four to five liters of water in their trunk each time. Here we have quite a nice array of animals in this area. Um, it's quite nice. So you can see in the back there are some very large antelopes. Those are actually our biggest antelopes that we get in South Africa. And those are elant. Um, that's very cool. We don't often get to see them, so it's actually quite nice. And then also mixing with other herds of animals like this. Um, very cool. A lot of animals will stick together in groups like this because it's safer. A lot more eyes and ears that can help deter or um, actually kind of look out for any predators that are potentially in the area, scoping them out. Elands are quite special and um, go back to prehistoric hunter-gatherer times where a lot of the Zulus or Bushmans would also feature that particular antelope in their rock art um, around the country. Um, also part of their surnames today, Mpofu, meaning Elant and Zulu, um, shows that um, Elants were quite central to their culture. And here we have some ostriches, male being the darker of the two. Males are also fairly large, um, getting up to weights of 120, 130 kilograms. Uh, both uh, can run at a maximum top speed of 70 kilometers an hour. We've got a couple of elephants uh, coming over the dam wall. There's still another one in the background there. And yeah, elephants, they must come to watering holes quite frequently, especially on warmer days. They don't have sweat glands, so they, they, they can't regulate their, their body temperature through sweating like most mammals would do. Uh, what will they do? what they'll do is they'll come and just you know spray mud, swim, um, or even you know toss some soil over them, just to keep themselves cool. And the elephant's tusks are actually modified in sizes, and these um, actually continue to grow throughout their lifespan. And they get worn down by when they help um, you know pull out roots or branches, break branches to feed upon. Also, when they're farting, um, sometimes they break. Something quite fascinating about the warthog, uh, they've actually been observed allowing banded mongoose and vivid monkeys to groom them um, to pick out the ticks from their hairless hide. Quite, quite interesting. So we're just about to leave this dam. Uh, we've still got the ostriches milling around. There's this elephant that wants to chase them. Um, but we're going to leave them be and carry on and see what else we can find on our drive.
Yeah, and just through the grass there, not a great visual, but you can see the movement and the shape of the head. This is an African painted wolf, um, otherwise known as the wild dog. And uh, we've stumbled up upon this uh, pack, and they currently are just hiding away from us now. We're just going to let them settle for a little bit, and perhaps maybe they'll... Um, uh, actually come up and show show themselves. Let's just hang on and see what happens. There we go. There's one of them. I think the rest will sl slowly come out as well now. So with wild dogs, what's actually quite cool is um, not only are they a pack animal and they they hunt quite successfully as a as a unit. Um, their success rate being eight, you know eighty percent. Um, they need to sustain their their appetite and they have quite quite very fast metabolisms um, so they actually can digest their prey quite quickly especially if they hunt during the morning uh, by the late afternoon they're ready to to go on the hunt again um, also depending on the size of, of what they take down and they've been known to take down things as large as as wildebeest um, even kudu well dogs are also part of the IUCN red list for and listed as endangered species. Their current uh, population, including young, uh, sitting around 6,000 throughout Africa. Quite cool is that we've actually come across a Hems book here, and these are these guys are such desert dwellers. Um, so we are quite an arid area, but not as arid as the Kalahari where you normally find them. They've got such a low metabolism that they don't often need to drink water throughout the year. They obtain most of their moisture from the vegetation that they feed upon. Um, so quite adapted for, for life in the desert.